Upon hearing of Sorano's situation, a very sympathetic gentleman by the name of Eugene Whips from an SDA church in Baltimore offered to adopt Sorano so he could continue his education in the U.S. So Sorano Nire Abang became known as Sorano Samuel Whips. He was now able to legally stay in the United States and so he enrolled in the University of Baltimore in Maryland and immediately began working to put himself through school. He worked as a taxi driver, a cook, and a construction worker to make ends meet. Oftentimes, he would eat leftovers from his job as a dishwasher and short order cook, and would also sleep in his car to save money for tuition and books. In 1968, Surangal married Marilyn Mason, and they began their family. Despite the challenges of school, work, and family, he managed to graduate in four years with a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration from the University of Baltimore, Maryland in 1971. In 1972, the family returned to Palau and because of his education and previous work experience, he was hired as manager of the Palau Fisheries Cooperative. He later went on to co-found and manage Wise Restaurant, a popular eatery in Palau in the mid-70s. In the late 70s, Sorangal became assistant manager for the Micronese Industrial Corporation, which pressed oil from copra imported from other Pacific Islands. He worked hard putting in long hours for little pay. He then decided it was time for him to set out on his own and become an entrepreneur. His first attempt at business was selling fish. Marilyn was a math teacher at Palau High School, so he asked the principal, Leo Ruluad, about using the school parking lot to sell fish in the afternoons. Surangal also loved being out on the ocean, fishing as well as diving, and he realized the potential of opening the country to tourism and the money it would bring to help Palau's economic growth. So in 1980, he began his own tour and diving business. He later then sold it to Shalom Epison. Surangal also saw opportunities in the retail and wholesale business. While he was still taking tourists out to the Rock Islands during the day and fishing at night, he began his retail and wholesale businesses. Surangal's grocery store started as a small mom and pop store on the back porch of their home in Sire. He realized that if he kept this cost low, offering better prices and better services, that he could compete with the big businesses in town. As the business grew, more room was needed. Sorangos moved to a space rented to him by the late Romant Matul at the former Central Market. The word spread and soon people found out that Sorangos offered a fair price for good quality products. Limited capital and the inability to secure financing from banks were the challenges for Sorangos and his company. But even with these constraints, the business grew. In keeping with his religious beliefs, the store was closed from Sunset Friday to Sunset Saturday. This was met with resistance from customers and was an unprecedented practice in the retail grocery business. It went against most business goals on focusing on more profit, but Sorangal held firm to his beliefs that principles and people come before profit. In February of 1987, Tragedy struck and the Sorangal's residence at Sire was burned to the ground. But besides losing their home, Sorangal sustained burns to 65% of his body and his chances of survival were very low. Fortunately, a flight to Manila was available the next morning and so he was taken there where he was hospitalized for three months. The recovery from his burns was the most painful experience of his life and came with the risk of him being crippled for life. However, his determination, and with the help of physical therapists, he was able to walk again and return to Palau that summer. By Christmas of 1989, the doors of the ground level of the Serrano store opened, with the next floor opening in April of 1990. In 2001, all four levels were finally completed and the business continues to grow. The growth of his businesses is due in part to good customer service and happy employees. Mostly young Palauans 
who work their way up from entry level to management positions. Sorongla has always believed in hiring Palauans, and if you pay your employees a fair wage, they will be loyal and productive. He also believes in properly training his employees, which has over the years included his children. He wanted to make sure they have the right tools to run the business. Today, because of his commitment to public service, his wife, four children, and over 500 employees run Surangal & Sons Company. They continue to hold true to Surangal's belief that principles and people come before profit. Thank you.